can you? Can you hear me? Cassandra. It is you. You're alive. As are you. I'm so glad I found you. No. They put a, a demon inside me. It's tearing me up. What? You can't be possessed. That's impossible. I'm not possessed. They fed me things. I can feel it growing. The promises will pay for what they've done. No. The Lord Seeker. Of course we'll find him. If he lives, we'll... Lucius betrayed us, Cassandra. He sent us here, one by one. An important mission, he said. Lies. He was here with them all along. He's still working with them. But we met Lord Seeker Lucius in Val Royale. He couldn't have been here. That wasn't him. It was a demon masquerading. What? How could that be? The Lord Seeker allowed it. He let the demon take command while he... Came here. Cassandra. Now is not the time for sympathy. Wait. Don't leave me like this, please. You should have come with me. You didn't believe in the war any more than I did. You know me. I wanted that promotion. <coughs> Go to the Maker's side, Daniel. You will be welcome. He was my apprentice. I have never known a finer young man. Now we find Lord Seeker Lucius. Lord Seeker Lucius. Cassandra, with a man I can only assume is the new Inquisitor. You must be very proud of your handiwork. I presume you know we Seekers of Truth were once the original Inquisition. Oh yes. We fought to restore order in a time of madness long ago, as you do now. And we became proud. We sought to remake the world, to make it better. But what did we create? The Chantry, the Circles of Magi. A war that will see no end. And aiding Corypheus is supposed to help. Corypheus is a monster with limited ambition. And your ambition is so much greater. We Seekers are abominations, Cassandra. We created a decaying world and fought to preserve it even as it crumbled. We had to be stopped. You don't believe me? See for yourself. The secrets of our order passed to me after the former Lord Seeker was slain. The war with the mages had already begun, but it was not too late for me to do the right thing. And this was the right thing. Lord Seeker, what you've done... I know. What Corypheus did with the Templars does not matter. I have seen the future. I have created a new order to replace the old. The world will end so we can start anew. A pure beginning. Join us, Cassandra. It is the Maker's will.
was insane. He had to be. The influence of Corypheus, perhaps? Was he trying to disable the Seekers? These wasted lives. He could not have destroyed all of us. I won't accept it. Let us return to Skyhold. I wish to see what's in this book of secrets. This tome has passed from Lord Seeker to Lord Seeker since the time of the Old Inquisition. And now it falls to me. Are you all right? You look drained. Do you know what the right of tranquility is? The last resort used on mages in the circle, leaving them unable to cast, but depriving them of dreams and all emotion. It should only be used on those who cannot control their abilities, but that has not always been the case. Does the book say it was used for other things? No. As a seeker, I looked into... abuses. Mages made tranquil as punishment. What finally began the Mage Rebellion was the discovery the right of tranquility could be reversed. The Lord Seeker at the time covered it up. Harshly. There were deaths. It was dangerous knowledge, the shock of its discovery in addition to what happened in Kirkwall. But it appears we've always known how to reverse the right, from the beginning. Why keep that knowledge a secret? We created the right of tranquility. I told you of my vigil. The months I spent emptying myself of all emotion, I was made tranquil and didn't even know. Then the vigil summoned the spirit of faith to touch my mind. That broke tranquility and gave me my abilities. The Seekers did not share that secret. Not with me, not with the Chantry, not even with... There's more. Lucius was not wrong about the Order. I thought to rebuild the Seekers once victory was ours. Now I'm not certain it deserves to be rebuilt. I don't think I've ever seen you so shaken. I do not think the Seekers have been doing the Maker's work. Not truly. Perhaps we believed it once. The original Inquisition came to be during a terrible time. But now, we harbored secrets and let them fester. We acted to survive, but not to serve. That is not the Maker's work. You said there was more in the book. At some point, power becomes its own master. We cast aside ideals in favor of expedience and tell ourselves it was all necessary for the people. Will that happen to us, Inquisitor? Will we repeat history? We might. It would be lying to say it's impossible. An honest answer, if not a comforting one. If you did rebuild the Seekers, how would you do it? I can't be the only one remaining. We will always spread to the winds and some may still be out there. I would find them one by one. We would all read this book, no more secrets. Then together we would establish a new charter. The Maker's work in truth. You keep saying that, but what is the Maker's work? There is no way to know for certain. That is why we must seek it out. Perhaps we lost our way because we stopped looking. Rebuild the Seekers. Make them better than they were. Thank you. I could not have done this on my own. Planning troop movements now? I'm trying to imagine what it will look like when we're done. All of this once belonged to the Tevinta Imperium. Andraste changed that, as did the Blights. As for what will come next, 
I cannot guess the Maker's plan. We make the world a better place. Because everyone agrees on what better means. I know I want a world where people trust the Chantry and that trust is respected. I want to respect tradition, but not fear change. I want to right past wrongs, but not avenge them. And I have no idea if my wanting these things makes any of them right. Even if they're not right, they're certainly admirable. Some would disagree. They would call it heresy. That didn't sound like the ravings of a heretic, Cassandra. Perhaps not. But it takes precious little effort to paint even an act of compassion as damaging. Tell me, what guides you? You make decisions that shake the world, yet always seem so assured. I wish I had your confidence. I'm guided by what my conscience tells me. Your conscience must speak more clearly than mine. I doubt it, but I do my best. When we first met, if someone told me I would be pleased to have you lead me, I would have throttled them. But I am. The Maker chose well. I appreciate that. We still have a long road to travel, Inquisitor. Wherever it takes us, I'm glad you're here.